Hi, I'm Mike Stanton with Build America Mutual. I'm here with Grant Dewey, head of BAM's Municipal Capital Markets Desk. It's December 13th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. Grant, we're coming down to the end of the year. Uh, let's start. Uh, let's talk about ec economic fundamentals. We usually talk about interest rates. There wasn't a huge move in interest rates this week, but there was some new uh, information on the economy. What did, what did we learn? Well, we had a bit of a move today. So retail sales disappointed this morning at 0.2% uh, rise versus expectations of 0.5%. So, so Treasuries took that cue and uh, and rallied uh, in, into the uh, into the weakness. So it kind of erased. We'd had uh, Munis had had a strong week in ratios, and so that kind of erased all the outperformance today. So uh, ratios are back to about 79% on 10-year and about 91% on the long end, similar to last week. So yeah, the muni market just keeps plugging along. Um, we got the report from Lipper this week that uh, last week we weren't sure whether there was a turning point. Inflows uh, on the Thanksgiving week were, mm -hmm. were much lower than we had seen in recent weeks. This week they're back up to 1.4 billion. So it seems like demand for the market's still very strong. Uh, in the uh, new issue market, I know it was a, it was a busy week, $16.4 billion of transactions priced uh, competitively or negotiated. That was a little higher than originally sure. anticipated. Um, 75, 175 million of those were BAM insured on about 14 transactions, uh, highlighted by the taxable $25 million Bristol Township School District transaction in Pennsylvania that was priced by Benning and Scattergood. Uh, two series totaling $26 million for Chautauqua County, New York, priced by UBS, and a $19 million City of Perth Amboy, New Jersey transaction priced by R.W. Baird. Uh, next week we're starting to wind down. We're going into the uh, into the uh, holiday year-end period. Um, I think uh, how much volume is, is on the uh, six billion is what they're talking about next week, which is obviously as we head into the holidays, a light week. But you really only have to remember back to the first half of the year where uh, we were averaging 6.8 billion a week in supply, and and uh, in the second half of the year, obviously as as uh, taxable advance for funding is picked up. Uh, supply increased to an average of ten and a half billion a week. So six billion uh, seems like a very light week, which it certainly is based on the second half numbers. But we should end the year at about four hundred billion uh, in in total issuance, which is kind of right in line with the number of uh, maturities and bond redemptions. So for the year on a whole, it's pretty much a flat net supply. And looking ahead to this week, there's one large transaction in the BAM insured world on Northern Arizona University uh, being priced by JP Morgan. Shelby Schwabauer from BAM's Santa Monica office mm -hmm. did a Credit Insights video on that transaction. You can click the link above and that'll uh, take you to that. Uh, we're also watching a Phoenix City Board of Education transaction from Stiefel. It's about $29 million and a handful of others uh, that are refundings uh, watching on market conditions may price before the end of the year, may price in January. And that was another thing we learned this week uh, from uh, City uh, held their 2020 Municipal Outlook Conference. One of the comments there was that people are looking forward to a busier than normal January. Right. Uh, historically in the muni market, uh, new issue volume has, has stalled out in January and uh, people who are putting those transactions together say don't expect to see that again. They would be the ones who know. They also had a pretty bullish outlook as I remember on 10-year uh, MMD and so. We will. We shall see. We'll see how that plays out. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again. Thanks. Will you get paid if an earthquake puts your municipal bond investment on shaky ground? Yes. Double A guaranteed. Is your municipal bond investment safe even if the next recession reduces public revenues? Yes. Double A. Guaranteed. BAM Municipal Bond Insurance protects against everything, from natural disaster and recession to fraud or cyber attack. BAM. 